Hi guys, I'm Shmi, and today you join me back in London for one of these slightly informal vlogs, just basically catching up and working out what's going on. And firstly, the FF is back on camera. So I last drove it actually about five or six weeks ago when I joined Jer Collector and some other friends to go from Munich down towards Lake Garda. And then I took the car down to the south of France where I left it, but it's been brought back to England. It's basically been parked up while I've been off on all sorts of other adventures, but it's time now to finally actually get it cleaned up and I know that sounds a little bit silly but I don't think this car has been washed for about 2,000 miles of driving and well six seven eight weeks and that's not how you should leave a Ferrari at all I mean come on it's splattered in bugs and dirt and all sorts of grime so I'm gonna take it over to Posh Wash drive the car get it cleaned up and looking pretty again like it should be and then from there I'm gonna head on because a little birdie has told me that a Bugatti Chiron is parked up in central London and I would rather like like to see that so fingers crossed it's still there and I'm gonna be able to catch it today so we'll jump in the FF head over to Posh Wash get this clean and then go hunt down this Chiron now believe it or not I have now owned this car for nearly two years in one month's time I will have had it for two years which is just crazy I never expected that when I bought it and it has me constantly looking at the configurator for the Lusso or an 812 but let's fire it into life Now the one thing that I do not miss about not driving in London regularly is avoiding this traffic, just going around Marble Arch here. It is so busy in London, as, as you've probably seen all the driving recently in Scotland, there's a little bit more sort of sparse in terms of the traffic, but we're just gonna head down Park Lane, head past the Dorchester, see if anything's there, and then come back up to Bush Wash. Past Aston Martin, where the GT12 in the Golf livery lurks inside. Sorry, quick glance at the Dorchester Hotel. I saw an Aventador and a few Rolls Royces lurking in there. Lift up to go over this bump and watch the BMW in front of me. Even in the FF, I want to be careful here. Just... Nobody wants to scrape. There we go. Inside the garage we go. This car can be quite deceptive because it's actually quite large. But when you drive it, and you, you know, when you go through a narrowing like this, you realise it. But when you're driving it hard, it feels so much smaller than it really is. Anyway, we've got a nice little tunnel. Who doesn't like that? One very, very soapy looking FF then. I always find it quite funny when you look at a car like that. Alongside it, a nice dark blue Rapide actually as well. And then over here, blue seems to be the color of the day. An Aventador SV in another metallic dark blue. That looks really good, has to be said. And if I swing down this way, I want to show you this, because Posh Wash do all the wheel refurbs, painting, brake calipers. This RS3, which is in Nardo Grey, RS3, pretty cool car anyway. The wheels, Posh Wash painted them in Nardo Grey, and at the owner's request, they've given them these purpley, magenta -y, pinky brake calipers as well. Now, that's not necessarily my taste, but I think it's pretty cool that you can do that. And you might actually remember the 650S wheels we did back for Gumball years ago on my car, where we painted uh, the outside rim like a roulette wheel for the rally that was themed Las Vegas. This should be done shortly and then I'll be on the road out to find the um, Chiron if it's here. So the FF's just about to be moved, but I noticed a very noisy Lambo coming towards me there. <laughs> Angry bull. Literally V12. This color is so gorgeous. being refurbed. This Porsche is very nice. And the event store I think is just being parked up over there. It's 
start an event at all? Uh, yes. That's an S, that's a new one. Coming in closer, this colour, it's like a satin, satin grey black, but there's a slight like blue tint to it. Maybe that's the lighting, but either way, very cool. The car is beautiful and clean. Now let's go and find this car. So it should be parked up at one of the hotels in Knightsbridge. Obviously, supercar spotter kind of heartland, and it's been a while since I did much kind of car spotting, and people often ask me why, but I kind of prefer going out and doing all these drives and things that are a little bit different. But sometimes it's nice to kind of return to roots and go and see what we can find. So fingers crossed, it's going to be there. Now that's nice, Qatari GT3 RS. Cool, good color choice. And look what we have lurking there, 675 LT, tucked in, Qatari, chicane gray, launch spec. Well, launch spec of the coupe, not the spider. That's cool, isn't it? An old Vantage, convertible, top down. Now in theory, the car is just here little bit of traffic. Oh, look at that, the old Mini, that's cool. That's very similar to mine, but a little bit more jazzed up with the lights covered, I quite like that, but with a, a Union Jack on the roof. Now, we can see something yellow just through there. Is that an Aventador SV? And then the Chiron should be in there, and there's something red as well. Plenty of uh, nice cars about, so we'll find somewhere to park. Oh, and another Aventador there behind that taxi. So we'll find somewhere to park up and then come back round. And ha, even, ha, look at that M5. That's very, very orange. Lots and lots of cars about. Here we go then, and firstly, a Wraith is coincidentally going through at exactly the same time. But look at that view, 488 GTB from Qatar, an SV Roadster from the UK. And if we wander up through this little line past the Mansouri Bentega, which is equally crazy, I mean, that in its own right is a little bit mental, we get towards the Bugatti Chiron. Now this car, if we come around the front, is finished in a lovely, lovely specification. The white with all the carbon, that looks really, really good. Just look actually how low to the ground this thing sits here. And I did a full massive drive video in a Chiron with Andy Wallace, which was just amazing. But seeing one out on the roads in, I guess, completely natural environment, not necessarily, I guess, expecting it, it's just, it's just really awesome. I mean, they took the Veyron and they took it on to the next level, didn't they, with this thing? Look at the interior. The color scheme to match the exterior as well. But this whole, this is all car carbon fiber, the raw carbon fiber. Look at that, it looks brilliant. And how open it is at the rear. And I think everybody had that whole sort of controversial eye on this when it launched about how open it is and how the design is done. But when you see it, it just kind of looks a lot cooler, a lot more presence and a lot more, I guess, uh, for function. Nice. Bugatti Chiron, all 1,500 horsepower, quad turbo W16. Just walk around it forever really, can't you? Good wheel choice. Let's go nicely. And then the uh, Wraith heading out. Even that's pretty nice too, C63S convertible there from Qatar, just chilling in the traffic. Actually tons of nice cars, if you look down there you've got like Range Rover, KM, there's a Bentayga, non-stop. The C63S cab actually pulled in here too, it's got quite a few nice red highlights on it, like the diffuser on top of the wing. Down it goes into the garage. And an AMG GTS comes by. There are literally supercars everywhere here. It's like everywhere you look, and there's a, a Phantom Drophead just up that away. But yeah, good times. Do you know what? I haven't actually even talked about the fact that there's a Brabus G Wagon here as a Bentley drives through. And that's another bit of a beast itself right there. Like, this lineup is just crazy. Oh, I got here at just the right time. And we'll just catch an Aventador going around the corner there. Another Qatari G-Class. 
This, however, is the most amusing car we're going to see today. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, tyre writing as well. Just seen that. Tyres there. But making some space for the Ventega to pull out. I just wandered out of the hotel driveway only to stumble into this, which is a Mercedes E63S 4Matic Edition 1, and it's just started drizzling on us. But this is that kind of sleeper super saloon, 612 horsepower, all wheel drive. One of the early UK deliveries, not that many of them about yet, but they did the press launch at Portimao in Portugal, which was really awesome. You just heard the Bentayga starting up, I think, or was it the Continental GT? He says, as the rain drops, properly falling but it's literally today it just cars absolutely everywhere wherever i seem to go i seem to be bumping into really really awesome things even just parked out there like that so i don't necessarily know if i'm going to see too much else today maybe jump back in my car head off got a couple of things to go do at the shops and the like but basically see what's going on if not otherwise head home g-wagons everywhere well, time has flown by. I've actually been in shops looking for some new gear to help me with the editing of these videos because I've been experiencing a fair amount of laptop trouble recently, but not to worry, I will get there and I will solve this one. But I'm gonna wrap this one up there. The FF is now cleaned and shiny and the color is really so, so nice. And uh, down the other end of the garage, the Vanquish is lurking, ready to be unwrapped in the coming days, I expect. But obviously more on that as and when. Anywho, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Nice to see the Chiron on the streets of London. A Bugatti Chiron has arrived here and is roaming around, and I'm sure there might be more with that coming as well. So watch this space, and I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.